Welcome back to another session of Air Engine Research. Uh, today is going to be a short update. And the last update that I had, I asked for some help on the uh, piping application and wondered if anybody could come up with a way to uh, make the engine run on two cylinders, three cylinders, four or six cylinders. And I didn't get any response from anyone, so I'll go ahead and show you what I came up with. In this diagram, it shows the, uh, the green would be for two cylinders. If you move the, the lever from the two cylinder to the three cylinder, then it would run on three. And if you move it back to two cylinders, and then four cylinder, you turn that valve on, it would be on four. If you turn six, it would run on all six. But since I've done that, I've come up with some other ideas that I think are better. <clears throat> to put different cams on it. These here are made out of wood and they're wearing the ends pretty bad so I'm going to have to make those different. And probably the timing would be a little bit better too once I get the actual metal cams on there so I can set it correctly. But at least it does run. Okay, since uh, I had that short little video, I did get the cams, and you can also see in the center between the two cams where I, I put some uh, dimples into it so I can use those as timing marks. I've got them set pretty much, and then I put two on each side of it, so if I need to, I can adjust it one way or another. And uh, you also see the white tips on the valve stems. I I remade those, made them longer. Uh, one time I had one of them came off, it was only about a little over a half an inch long, so I made them an inch and give it a quarter of an inch or three, three quarters of an inch deep. So they stay on okay, no problem now. And also I had to redo the seals on the inside of the of the uh, air valves. The uh, washers that I were using were made out of uh, just regular faucet washers and the hole for the bolt was too big and the shaft on the uh, the valve itself was pushing up through the, the uh, seal sometimes so I had to remake it and make the hole size smaller so that it wouldn't do that. And now they, they work fine. That was there where I had to turn the thing down from a 7 8 to get it to the right size. And there I was starting to cut it off. And the next picture will be where I actually have it separated from the thing. They do work fine and they wear and hold up okay. So I'm happy with that. Well, today I finally got my piping done for the cylinders. I was going to go with uh, two, three, five, and six, but after thinking about it and the way I could work it to go through, I'm going to go with two cylinders, four cylinders, and six cylinders. And the way it would work is that when it's in this position, it's on two cylinders. This position, it's on four cylinders. This position, it's on six. So you start off with two cylinders. If it's not in the right position, it won't start. But all you have to do then is push it up to six cylinders and start. You can either pull it back and run it on two, or you can go to four. 
so I'm going to start with it. And you'll be able to hear when it's on two cylinders or when it's on four cylinders or when it's on six cylinders. So I'll show you that in just a minute. But first, uh, I just wanted to show you how I did the uh, seal on the shaft of the, of the valve stem. Uh, I tried putting a, an O-ring on the shaft itself. That made it too tight with the uh, spring tension and stuff. Had to be too strong to push it down, which made the ends of the valve stems wear. So that wasn't good. So what I did is just took an O-ring that's supposed to be on the outside, slipped it over the stem, and then made the plate to go over the top of it with a recess so that it put the right amount of pressure on the o-ring around the shaft that worked fine so now i don't have any problem that's just a different view of it and you can see the exhaust hole on the side of the cylinder from this angle okay today i have all the seals underneath the cylinders where they go and I've got lines all hooked up. I added a, an on-off valve and adjusted the timing on everything so it should be ready to go, hopefully. And we'll see if it starts on on two cylinders, four cylinders, six cylinders should start but if not if you go into any of the others it'll start particular video I said that the position was 2, 4, and 6 which was wrong. <laughs> it should have been that it's on two cylinders to start and the next position is six cylinders and then the furthest position is four cylinders. And also if you uh, listen to that fairly close the um, running, the smoothness of how it runs with six cylinders is the best. Four cylinders is pretty good too. Two cylinders sounds kind of choppy, but I think once it's moving down the road, it will be okay to run on two cylinders because it will be running fast enough to kind of overcome that. This next one is just to, to show you the pulley that's underneath the uh, engine right now. I'm planning on putting it into my uh, converted uh, lawnmower body and I'll be running belts on it to see you know how it runs under a, under a load and also uh, I want to find out what kind of torque it has actually wheels to the ground and I can only do that if it's actually driving a, a car tire and what load it will pick up from the ground, but that's something I'll I'll have to kind of work my way through as I go. But I'll keep you posted, and I'll try to have some videos to show you what what's going on. And I took the uh, three-cylinder engine off of my converted uh, lawnmower, and I thought I would just give you a a little preview of what the old engine that I had running on the mower and what the new engine looks like. It's a 17 and a half inch diameter on the new one and it was only about 12 inches I think on the uh, the old one but the 
piping is what really looks terrible on the new one. I'm going to have to see if I can uh, change that around and, and either get it underneath some of the uh, plating on it or get it to go around the outside a little bit smoother and try to eliminate maybe one or two of those lines if I can. I think I can do it with hooking the, the four cylinders together by just going in a circle around the outside which would only be one line and get rid of those squares in the center and a couple of those other pipes but I'll have to see how that goes whenever whenever the time comes uh, but for right now I'm in the midst of uh, modifying the lawnmower body to accept the, the, the larger engine I had to move the wheels back and the uh, rear end of the frame back another 10 inches to, to allow it to fit on it properly. So I'm in the process of doing that, but as soon as I get done, I'll make some more videos and, and let you see where I'm at. So until next time, I uh, hope you keep checking in with me.